In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add layers in Photoshop. Hey guys, my name is Scott and I make full and mini tutorials like this one on Photoshop, Premiere, and videos on freelancing tips. So please do consider hitting the subscribe button and hitting the notification bell so you don't miss any of those. Okay, let's get into how we can add layers in Photoshop. Since this is a tutorial really aimed at beginners in the program, I just quickly want to go over what a layer is in Photoshop for a moment. If you're already familiar with Photoshop and just want a quick reminder of how to add in a new layer, jump to the time code of 220 in this video where I start talking about the different ways you can add layers. So I like to think of layers in Photoshop as kind of like a stack of papers. Basically, imagine you had a piece of paper in front of you with a picture on it. If you were to place another piece of paper on top of that first paper with an image, it would cover the picture. So you would be layering over it. And if you added a bunch of papers on top of that first piece of paper, you'd have a whole stack of layered papers on top of that image. When you open up Photoshop for the first time with a new document, you almost always see a background layer listed. That's because this is your first layer. Think of it as the most bottom piece of paper in that stack of papers that you're going to add onto. So any new layer that gets added on top of the background layer will cover it, and the next layer added to it would cover the one underneath, and so forth. What I'm going to do next is import an image into my project so you guys can visually see how layers work. I'm going to drag and drop an image that was on my desktop into Photoshop. And now you'll see the image is sitting on top of the background layer. If I try and drag the image below the background layer, it won't let me. And if I look over to the right, there's a lock icon next to the background layer, which tells me that this layer is locked and cannot be changed. So to unlock it, I just need to click on it and it will remove the lock. Now I can drag my image layer and move it underneath the background layer, which now places the white background layer on top of my image. Just like a stack of papers, the image layer is now at the very bottom of the stack. There's a couple of ways to add a new layer. You can go up to layer, new, and select layer. A dialog box will pop up, but I'm just going to select OK because I can always go back and change these settings after it's been created. Or down at the bottom right, you can select the square icon with a plus sign in it to add a new layer. Or you can use the keyboard shortcut Shift Command N and that will add a new layer on top of the background layer and the image layer that I have. I want to add a circle shape to my project and I'm going to select red in my color picker. Next, I'll go to the shape tool and create a circle shape. So again, if I were to move this circle layer below the image and the background layers, you would no longer see it because it's at the very bottom of the layer stack. By moving it to the top, then I can see it. There's a lot of different types of layers that you can add to your project. As you just saw, I created a shape layer on top of my image layer. But you can also add things like a text layer, which will automatically create one if I just select the type tool and start typing. You can also add adjustment layers, which allow you to change or adjust, as the name suggests, the settings of a layer without impacting all the other layers beneath it. You can add an adjustment layer by going to layer, new adjustment layer, and you'll see a list of different adjustment layers you can pick from. I'm not going to go through all of them because I think that would take a while to go through, but you get the idea. And really, adjustment layers represent what's at the core of a layer's purpose. It's so that you can change and manipulate specific parts of an image without impacting everything else in all the other layers. Now, if you wanted to, you can merge the layers together and you can do that by going to layer. And at the bottom of this list, you'll see a few options to merge layers together. Merge down will merge the layer that you currently have selected and combine it with the layer directly beneath it. So there was a San Francisco text layer here above the ellipse one layer, but now they've merged into one layer. Merge visible will only merge the layers that are currently set to visible and not the hidden ones. And you can control that by selecting the eyeball icon next to the layers. And then flatten image will merge all the layers into one layer. And I don't recommend flattening images really ever, 
but maybe in some very, very specific circumstances. Because once you flatten an image, you lose all the layers and you cannot make any further alterations or changes. So I really would try to avoid flattening if you can. So that's how you can add layers in Photoshop. What other issues are you guys having with layers? Let me know in the comments below and I'll see if I can answer them. If you've enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and feel free to share with anyone else who might also enjoy it. For more information on Photoshop, Premiere, and freelancing tips, head on over to my website at scottedwardfowler.com and visit my Twitter page at Scott E. Fowler. Also, check out my other tutorial videos which I've posted on the right side of the screen here. Alright, that's it for me guys. See you in the next video.